like so. <laughs> Right, we're on our way back to the home of Amity Football. Another weekend training, first one back since Turkey. Yeah, we've got training tonight, training tomorrow morning and evening, and then we've got a match against the, I think the EAFA All Stars, so like uh, a combination of ex England players and, and that kind of thing. So it'll definitely be a good challenge for us on that Sunday morning, um, and yeah, another opportunity to play a bit more game time. You were talking to me now. Yes. Yeah. Can't beep to a horse, you dingle. Well, you can wave. Yeah, I'll, ch I'll chow. Hello. Uh, oh. She said hey. She said hey. What? She was asking it, what's it want for tea? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is vile. I've been off. I've been ordered on. Uh, what's the name? Checked in. I'm sure uh, our player leadership team will have uh, as they certainly both cost. Um, so that's the end of our Friday night session. Just checked into where a new hotel we'll get Oaks or Aki to, to do a bit of a tour around the hotel. Uh, quite a nice place to be and back training tomorrow morning. So see you then. Dave, <laughs> new road, new hotel, barely Scott McSauce. Don't tell us, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Jack was a big fan. How's it going with the missus? Still need any advice? Did you see it? Did you see it? Do you need any advice on this? I'm Dr. Phil Sastrow with Kyle in that situation. Morning. Well, I've already said morning, I think. Well, yeah. well Aki has. Day two. In crew. Funny. <laughs> yeah, someone's in a better mood than yesterday, so should be a positive day. Hello. Jack out. What are we doing today? Today, um, the theme. Yeah, What's the theme, Will? Oh, I don't know either. It is, uh, Comes in as a coach, I don't know what he's doing. He's playing out, playing that from the back from the high press. Are you sure? When he gets the where, where have you heard that from? <laughs> Look, them leadership meetings that you have, do you enjoy them leadership meetings? Yeah. Look at the camera, do you enjoy them leadership meetings? More meetings, you know. Lib, what's wrong with Reese? What's wrong with Reese? What's he done? Yeah, try doing a volume. Oh yeah. Oi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bang. Bash. Bash. <laughs> tech ball champs versus tech ball champs. How do you say it? Oh. Oh. Eight one. Eight, eight two to him. Eight two. That'll be nine two. <laughs> oh. Yeah, take that chain off. He's grim, innit? Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. 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 wants to waffle about oh. Premier League 2022. <laughs> you're, you're right, Tom, man. Top four, go. Top four. So it's going to be City, then Liverpool, then <laughs> Chelsea, and then United. City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham. Oh. Um, I think Tottenham might even get third. Who's saying Chelsea? I'm Liverpool. saying, obviously, Liverpool top. Sure no. No, it will be. No, we are. Uh, realistic. No, no, no. I honestly. Haaland. Mate, sure, well, he's not going to add anything. Well, we just want honesty. Right. You're saying you're wrong. And I'm saying Liverpool top. Then I'm saying City. Then I'm saying Spurs, mate. Yeah, Spurs we'll be a little... For me, it is. A little dark, <laughs> little dark horse. And then Chelsea, yeah. What league are we getting in? Championship. What league are Bolton in? League one. Wee! Where are Wigan going to finish? 12th. 16th. Yeah, around that. Yeah. Uh, what about Bolton? Bolton. Bolton. Playoffs. And then Christmas World Cup. Our, our World Cup or their World Cup? I mean, we're in October, not, yeah, not Christmas, mate. It's the Nation World Cup. The two legged yeah. freaks. Yeah, yeah that one. Um, then England beat Argentina in the final. Baby drop, we don't know. Yeah. 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 Right, so this is an open challenge to any staff member, me and Dan, £5 per play, beat us, you get a tenner, doubles, and, yeah, any staff member wants it, make any, any couples, make, you want to involve the players, you want to involve just staff, anyone, anyone, open challenge, open challenge, Andy doesn't want the smoke, Scott definitely doesn't want the smoke, <laughs> I don't think the gaffer would fancy it either. Gaffer? Okay. Gaffer would probably fancy it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't back him though. Yes, Dan! Woo! Oh. Enjoying it. Oh! 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 You just need to stop heading it, you. No, it bounced up on there onto my head. I've not seen you do a good header. No, I can't. At this all. this I can't side's good it. until Jamie touches yeah, the ball. Like jumping. So like my head is like. <laughs> <laughs> like <a fish>. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he does when he heads it. Two. Oh, Dan, my man. What a team. What a team. What a team. Hello. Go on, smile. Smile. Go on, smile. No, no, look. Smile. Keep smiling. <laughs> Yes, 
Come on, boys, my team is stuck. He's working. Yes, Yeah, well done. Get him moving. Good, good, good. Well done. Brilliant, boys. Play on, play on, play on. Yes, yes, get one more in. Men on, men on, men on. He's gonna look like a tomato here. I don't, I'm not the reddest, that's him. He's reddest. Look at, like you need after some reds that bad. End this session to. Oh yeah. Come on. Right, let it focus. Right, end of uh, our second day at Receive College. Um... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, so that's the end of day two down at our camp. A really demanding day to be fair in decent sessions from Scotty and D Mac. So we'll see you in the morning. Uh, just on our way to the game. Uh, no. Good morning, good morning if I've not said it. Call out a few more staff members. Your first question is, who do you think the most intelligent staff member is? Uh, Doctor. saying Dr. Mike? Dr. Mike, yeah. Dr. Mike or Scotty? 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 Yeah, Scotty's, oh. doing, Scotty's doing well for himself, isn't he? Really well. Yeah. White Ranger, yeah. If we had the choice and we could amputate a staff member's leg to join us, which staff member would you choose? We're not doing arm and then go under. Queen or one of the younger staff, like the media staff, like that. Reese or some of them. I've not even seen the player, but young in it. Yeah. Lloyd in. Lloyd is all that track. You go Lloyd. Lloyd is not a bad shout. But I won't lie to you, I think Dan Towers is watching this crying. Ex Academy. Ex Academy, your best mates with me, Scotty. I thought the most popular thing crossed it. I mean, it's not that. Here's a little photo, right? And then your last question, a bit of a stereotypical one. A deserted island, and you had to choose a staff member to stay with. I'd say for a couple of months, who would, who would you choose? Uh, or Jake, just because both from Bolton in it, so we're both from fellow Bolton boy, Tom Moore lad. You saw it here and mate. Yeah, 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 so I mean, I'd see what we can do, see what we can do. Promote the island, get me on a radio stage. Why would you say? Who the fuck would you say? Well, it's not my, it's not my question. Well, it's not my, it's not my question. Uh, it's a good answer, right? right well, no, so we're, we're just taking? on our way who to the game taking? now. So <laughs> just on. on our way now no, to the no, game. Who and, are you uh, taking? Mikey, Mikey Clucas, the doctor, I won't die. No, you can say he'll make sure you won't die, but he can only do that when he's got medicine. <laughs> he don't have medicine when he's on there. Nah, I'd be fine. He knows his CPR, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see <laughs> you at the game. So I went to Marbella and Yeah. And uh, we're in this restaurant, we've not ordered yet. And there's a magician going around, you know, when they do like, tricks on tables and stuff. Yeah. So a lad I was with. The magician cocked his watch and said, so that watch there, just take it off. So he took his watch off, laid it on the table like that. The magician put a napkin over the top, waved his hands over like that, said something. 
whip the napkin away, watch it disappear completely. We're like, what the hell's that going? So we make it, and chancing me watch back, and he said, I can't make it come back, I can only make it disappear. Yeah. So he said, I'll tell you what, as compensation, what I can do, you can order anything off the menu and I'll pay for it. So we make it fair enough, I'll have a lasagna. So the lasagna came, just cut it like that in the middle. Guess what was in it? Lasagna. It's supposed to be beef and cheese, actually. Yeah. Three hours early on time. Cheese and meat. Guess what's in the middle? No beef and cheese! Hey, Sean asked me. He asked me if it was a boat staff, with a tape, right, on an island. Yeah. And I said it must all be you, because you come from more. He said we don't have to talk about it. England. We should talk about Tom Moore all the time. Tom Moore, Tom Moore, Pasties. Pasties. Yeah, yeah. Talk about people we know in Tom Moore. Who would you take to an island? I chose Scotty, but now I'm thinking Louis. Oh, yeah. Just oh, a survivor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he don't like losing. Yeah. You'd be there on death's door yeah. and he'd be like... He's just like a bare grills kind of guy. I need to make a gym out of trees. Okay, Tom, you're going to have to go and sit down. Yeah. Well, Scott, do you have anything to say about Sean pulling you out of his uh, Desert Island team? He says he don't want you in it anymore. I'm not happy about that person, is I'm not happy at all. Is this like the reality TV side of Yeaton? Yeah, yeah. I did, I did have you. You did, but he pulled you out for Lou of all people. He can't even make it because he's had a kid. Part timer, isn't he? He's time will <laughs> Who's got your favourite calf, Gary? My favourite calf? Yeah. It's got to be TJ because he's got a nice tattoo and he's got a big meaty calf. It's yeah. easy to work on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going TJ on that. TJ. Oh, yeah. Call the angles in. <laughs> you like the angles, Sean. Reese is out of the job, you know. What? No, media beast. Oh, well, this isn't flattering though. I'm going to it out. Especially when I get that caught. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not very cool, that is it. Not going to look good on camera. No, it's going to look great. Dropping your crutch like that. Yeah. Trying to be a pro sportsman. Jacko, I did it out. <laughs> Edit that one backwards, Jacko. Dylan! Dylan! Come on, keep working, Orange. Keep working, keep working. Yes, yes! Get him back, get him back, Dylan! Oaks, be ready, Oaks, be ready! Good quality, Jacko, that's the standard. Matt, on it, on it! Well done, boy! Relax, Matt, relax! And again. All the way, all the way. Good, and again. Wanna go after this one? Wait, 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 Thirty seconds. Yeah, he's mad. He's that. Go, go, go. Get in there, Mike. Get in there, go on then. That's him. Finish. Yeah. Well done. Yes, Martin. Hello. Hello. Good. You alright? Yeah, alright. Game time. Game man. first, lad. Game time. Game, Game time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise you had a sunk in there. So this year, this year for Christmas, I want um, some money, some new football boots. Change your beard, brother. I want a good beard. A girlfriend. <laughs> a beard, yeah. I want a grow beard. Yeah. Beard's on the knob. Hair transplant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair transplant. 
Yeah. Have you been a good boy, though? I've been a very good boy. Sure Back to 50, that. so it's an option. I've been a very good boy. <laughs> we'll see. See what planet brings you, yeah. <laughs> oh, and some sun cream. You're already telling you how I like it. Some fact to 50. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Next, man. Next. Go on, Mark. Mark and TJ. You want me on his lap? Le Legends team, the enemy. Uh, yeah, well, no, the enemy, but uh, any other countries what to over 35s so fancy a game against the uh, vets? Give us a shout. <laughs> I like your gloves, mate. Smart them. Old school. Up the vet. So we just got back after the games, we only had one camera in the goal so you wouldn't have seen the other goals. There was two games, they both finished 2-1, the first game was 2-1 to the Vets and the second game was 2-1 to us. A mix of result, being brutally honest, yeah it was a bit of a disappointing sort of morning. We, we kind of knew we, we could have played a lot better and, and done things a lot differently but in my opinion the positive is that we, we learn a lot more from these losses and it's not just a cliche but in the run into the Euros last year we won every single game in preparation for it and that probably papered over a lot of cracks which led to us sort of getting to the tournament and, and not learning as much as we could have maybe so that's the kind of positives I'm taking from it. Luckily we've got a lot of people now, both staff and players, just constantly reflecting and Hopefully every sort of player is reflecting on that weekend and although it was really positive sort of Friday and Saturday the, the sessions there was some real good quality within the sessions and intensity especially with that heat and so yeah reflecting on that game each player needs to be thinking about what what they could have done maybe differently technically tactically whether they were properly prepared for the game and we've got games coming up at the end of the month against Poland and Ghana and yeah, we definitely need to be ready for them and yeah I think overall a good weekend again it's always a good weekend getting together and more time on the pitch but trying to learn as much as we can yeah, and uh, obviously it was good to to see the sort of ea for legacy team down it's again they are the sort of uh, legends of the game if you like though it was good to catch up with some familiar faces and yeah i think <laughs> they're a strong team they've got a lot of quality within the team and many people sort of said if that that sort of team goes to the european championships they're, they're finishing top five so they are they're strong quality and massive thanks for those sort of coming down and just supporting us with our journey and preparation for the the world cup yeah i think all we can do now is is just continue to work hard across every every aspect of our games and a lot of people always think that's um, working hard in, in the sort of gym and, and on the pitch and, and it is it is a lot of that kind of thing but it's also off the pitch and away from the gym what are we doing to prepare ourselves mentally deal with with sort of high pressure games what are we doing to get better tactically you know we've got a good set of analysis tools and analysis team that can reflect really really well on these games and and, and have a look and pick apart our, our own performances so and um, that's what we'll be doing for the next sort of two three weeks good few weeks of graft and then yeah we welcome poland and ghana back to the home of amputee football and yeah, it'll be a good test so we'll see you then <laughs>